morning, friends. Today we're gonna go over a quick little, just standard lower body warm up that you can use uh, for any kind of lower body workout that you've got going on. We're gonna start off here uh, just generally warming up. We're gonna get your heart rate up. So whatever you can do, if you can go outside, uh, jog for a minute or two, do 30 or so jumping jacks, uh, whatever you can do, just get going, uh, get breathing a little heavy, get your heart rate going. The next phase is gonna be our dynamic drill. So if you got this space, we're gonna start off with toy soldier kicks, high knees, butt kickers. So any kind of movement you can do lateral across the floor. So getting some dynamic action going, action going, whether it's you know high knees, butt kickers, getting that heart rate back up, and get some dynamic stretch going on. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move into the dynamic stretches and core preparation drills. What we do, we all know the good morning, hands behind your head, elbows pull back tight. Soft knee in here, then we're going to hinge forward and then use our posterior chain to squeeze back upright. We're going to do 8 to 10 reps of that. And then everyone's familiar, this is your favorite, this is the inchworm. Any variation, variation, the inchworm is going to be good for you here. Hinging down, walking yourself out. If you feel cool with the push up, do the push up. It's not going to hurt you. Walk yourself back up. We'll do 5 to 6 reps of inchworms. You can switch it up. You can drop your hips and twist in there. We're going to be doing some pulling movements or so. So five to six for that. On your last one, give yourself the opportunity to pipe up in the down dog, walk the dog out, stretch those calves out. And then you're just going to go into your forward lunge, and we'll go into the world's best stretch. So about five reps or so, the world's best is on the side. Open all the way up, slowly brace to make sure you're feeling the stretch. Five to six reps there. Switch sides, open all the way up. After that, we're going to go into movement specific prep. So let's say we're squatting, we're going to warm up the core. Uh, even if we're deadlifting, we're going to make sure everything's nice and warmed up here. So we're going to start off down here in a tabletop position. We're going to do some bird dogs. So opposite arm and leg out, pushing that heel out, palm out, and then bring the elbow to the knee. We'll do about five slow and controlled reps here on each side. Let's say we're squatting, we're going to open up our hips a little bit more. We're going to do some fire hiking. So that's bringing the knee out at 90 degrees, pushing the heel back, bringing it back in, and down. So five to six reps again on each side. Nice and controlled. We need a little more squat mobility. We can do several things. One of the things I like to do is a squat rotation. So I'm going to plant my hands on the floor at the bottom of a deep squat, chest up and tall. Raising my opposite hand up. Rotating and alternating which hand is going to be towards the ceiling. That's real good if you're planning a squat. If you're going to deadlift, you need to warm up those hamstrings a little bit more. Grab the front of your toes, do some bootstrap squats. Extend those legs up, feel that stretch, come back down. Keeping all our stretches dynamic, don't hold them for too long. We'll keep that couch stretch and pigeon pose for after the workout when you're cooling down. All right, friends, make good use of it. Have a good time, be safe.